All right, this is uh, this is the first video I've made in a while, but I did some upgrades to the system, and I thought you might be interested in taking a look. And this addition is my radial flow filter. Made that out of a 55-gallon barrel, and uh, added that on there, so it's actually now situated between the fish tank and the grow beds. The people that are familiar with my previous videos will notice that uh, I no longer have the four drains coming from the fish tank. Those were one inch and a quarter uh, drains that have fed the beds individually, having four gravel beds. Now there's one nice three inch pipe and each bed is fed by a one inch drain. Got one in each bed, each has a valve, so I can control how much water is going in there and control the flow. Of course, everything still goes to the uh, sump tank. From the these are the these are the drains from the four bell siphons. Uh, got plenty of growth in there. Everything growing real nicely. Now in the radial arm, a radial arm radial flow filter. I'll climb up here and let you take a look down in her. See the water comes up from the bottom of the fish tank, flows through into the radial flow filter, and flows down inside the center here that is a five gallon bucket with a flower pot extension on the bottom. So I get about 14, 15 inches uh, of flow down. What happens is the water comes out of the top of this drain pipe, and then it flows back down inside the five gallon bucket. And down in the bottom there, I have made me a cone. Uh, that was uh, made actually from the top of this fish tank that I cut out and then I just uh, I did some some heating and screwing and twisting and bending and got that to become a conical bottom and then this over here is the outlet so the water comes into the radial flow here and then overflows back out into the drain which flows into the three inch pipe and feeds all the beds. Now what happens, what makes this thing work, is with that five gallon bucket in there, the solids are collected up through the pipe there, and you can see down in the bottom, let's get this out of the way, you can see down in the bottom, this has been running for 24 hours, and you can already see all the solids that have collected in the bottom. So it does its job. Actually once once you put this in there and everything settles down, you will notice that the water is dirty on the inside here. But you can look through this hole here and you will see almost no solids. There's still some but not quite not quite in anything near what it was. So it does its job. It's pretty damn simple. You get yourself a 55 gallon barrel, a five gallon bucket, and some plumbing parts, and you can make yourself a radial flow filter. Believe me, if I did it, you can do it. And that's what's happening at, uh, at Halponics currently, and uh, we just keep working at it. Thanks for watching.